Meghan ashamed of how she respects for the Queen amid William and Harry always remember Philip. Meghan Markle needs to start respecting the Queen, Donald Trump's former advisor has said. Mr. Trump's former senior advisor Jason Miller claimed that when you are a member of the royal family you need to check some of your thoughts and ambitions at the door. He added, number one rule of being a royal is don't disrespect the Queen. Of the Duchess of Sussex, Mr. Miller told The Sun, I think she should have more respect for the institution of the royals and I think that when you marry into the royal family there's a certain sense of decorum that I think that you're signing up for that you need to check some of your thoughts and ambitions at the door. I think that when you have the Queen you have to be respectful of the Queen. Meghan and Prince Harry quit royal duties last year for a new life in America. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex hid out at the royals in their controversial Oprah Winfrey interview in March. The royal couple failed to inform the monarch of their plans before revealing they'll chat to the American chat show host. And she only learned of it when US TV network CBS hurriedly issued a statement on Monday, after a producer working for Ms. Winfrey mistakenly alerted ITV of the plans. News of the big interview emerged after the couple announced Meghan's third pregnancy, and days before Buckingham Palace confirmed the pair will never return as senior royals. Members of the royal family usually run potential TV interview opportunities past the Queen in advance. However, it's claimed Harry kept the deal secret. The couple are now living in California with their two children Archie and Lily. The Queen was not asked but informed by Prince Harry and Meghan Markle that they were naming their baby Lilibet, a royal expert says. Giles Brandreth joined a heated debate on Good Morning Britain after the Duke and Duchess of Sussex hit back at a palace source who claimed they didn't ask Her Majesty permission to use her childhood nickname. GMB host Susanna Reid asked Giles, why are they both now rowing over the name of the baby? The author of Philip, The Final Portrait replied, this should be a storm in a teacup. The dispute is this. Was the Queen asked by Harry and Meghan whether they could call their child Lilibet or was she told? Either way she obviously agreed because she is a decent and loving grandmother. The palace seemed to be saying she was told, Harry and Meghan's spokesperson seems to be saying she was asked. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have offered to introduce the Queen to her namesake great-granddaughter Lilibet in the coming weeks. Despite reported fractures between Prince Harry and his brother Prince William and other royal family members, the Duke of Sussex is said to still be on good terms with Her Majesty. There have also reportedly been several olive branch calls to the palace after the fallout from the Oprah interview. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have asked the Queen if they can fly in Sol Elibet, who's just four months old, so she can meet her. This would be Harry's third return to the UK, and Meghan's first since the couple renounced royal duties in March 2020. Insiders say Harry has been calling home in preparation of Lilibet's christening, with Windsor Castle being touted as a possible venue. Royal sources told the publication that courtiers are shocked by the sheer nerve of the request to see Her Majesty. A source said, Harry and Meghan have made this offer but a lot of people are shocked by the sheer nerve of it. They may genuinely want to see the Queen but it's breathtaking given what they've put her through this year. The Queen